Kia ora. After removal of the prostate, there's often a lot of leakage of urine, and one of the times that this commonly happens is moving from sitting to standing. So as we move from sit to stand, it's a good idea to try and engage your abdominals and glutes and pelvic floor muscles. So getting out of the chair from the back of the chair, it's impossible to get out with a straight back from the back of the chair. So what I teach people to do is keep their feet level with the chair legs, move to the front of the chair, doesn't matter if your feet come off, your heels come off the floor a little bit, and then you move forward so that the nose is over the knees, keep the back straight, and then there's going to be a pushing straight up. So you push down hard through the heels straight up into standing, and as you stand, doing it like that, you're forced to engage your glutes and your abdominals and your pelvic floor and but when you're standing up they're all switched on. If you're not doing that, if you're moving from the back of the chair and you come forward, so these people who've had the, the prostate removed and getting lots of leakage, as they come forward you have to sort of sweep forward and then you're using your back to come up and as you do that there's a downward pressure on the bladder and that can cause leakage. So these people, when I'm seeing them, they'll often report that as they stand up, there's a sudden gush of urine, and I teach them how to do this, and then when they stand, they'll be surprised that it hasn't happened. Mm -hmm.